Welcome to the Nagwa Zone. I'm Anam. Let's talk about impeccability. Impeccability is probably one of the most underrated attributes that a human being can develop, especially in modern times in this day and age. People used to be a lot more impeccable in days gone by. Nowadays, you know and I know that we have human beings who feel nothing short of an entitlement towards the good things in life. I'm entitled. Impeccability is exactly the reverse of that. Impeccability makes you earn your blessings. Impeccability assumes that nothing in this life is for free, no free lunches in life and you my friend, don't get to be entitled to anything. Life simply doesn't work like that. So, for the Toltec warrior, her entire existence, from the moment that they have become an apprentice all the way up to warrior, where they, they become a warrior, become a woman of knowledge, man or woman of knowledge, and onwards. Impeccability has got to become your cornerstone. It's just, there's no shortcut. You can't kind of do it a little bit here. That's not impeccable either, is it? <laughs> so, impeccability better become your best friend if you are to even succeed just even in like basic good living let alone Toltec uh, training. Impeccability. What is impeccability? Do you really know what impeccability is? Do you understand the Toltec perspective of impeccability? I can bet you that you may know the dictionary meaning of it, but actual life experience as a person who is impeccable in everything. That's a long task, that one. And not, there are not a lot of human beings on, the, on this earth that are clear about impeccability as a life experience, as the person they are. So let me tell you a few facts about impeccability. It depends on three things mainly. There are other things, these three main things. The first one is proficiency. Proficiency. As a Toltec apprentice or as a Toltec warrior, you are expected to become proficient at absolutely freaking everything. You know what? That includes the way you breathe, the way you sleep, the way you brush your teeth, the way you take a shit. For women, your monthly cycles, you are expected to become proficient in processing your monthly cycles and allowing your body to give the, giving your body the best and being impeccable in that. Everything, what you think, what you say, what you behave like, when others aren't around, when you're by yourself, are you impeccable? Which means we need to become the kind of people who automatically run towards becoming proficient at whatever we do. In the Toltec world, there is no room for anyone who is lazy and who cuts corners and who runs the paradigm of giving out the bare minimum. What's the bare minimum I can get away with? In the Toltec world, each practitioner is expected to give their very best in each moment and beyond, and beyond. Every act might be your last act on this earth. So stop living like you will live forever and allow a certain awareness, which is reality, 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 to take hold 
inside you and start living as if you could die at any moment. In Don Juan's words, that knowledge imparts a peculiar kind of finality to the acts of the warrior because the warrior realizes that they could die at any moment. It imbues what they do with power. This is very close to the topic we're talking about. It will force you to become impeccable. Everything. Because you understand that you are not here, you're not a narcissist here to live forever. That you are part of a bigger process. The sun doesn't rise because you chose to wake up. Right? And we learn to become humble and stop living as if we're going to live forever. And we start to become impeccable in everything. So proficiency. Gain proficiency. Look in your life from the moment you wake up. The way you sleep. The way you sleep, you can become more proficient at sleeping. Did you know that? Proficiency. The second one. Proficiency will lead you to expertise. A Toltec warrior is expected to be an expert in at least 10 or 20 things in her life. An expert, professional level expert. Take me for example. And I, each one of these that I'm going to tell you, I've practiced these professionally in many cases, I've practiced these on the professionals of that field. For example, I was at one point a healer for healers. All my clients were healers. I would not take on just normal people because they could go to my clients. <laughs> I would heal people who were healers. That's expertise because you can't bullshit those guys. They'll pick up on your... Uh, if you're false or if you don't know what you're doing or if you're not where you claim to be, if you're pretending to be better than you really are, of course, these people are professionals. Some of them were top of their field. Every single one of them gave me rave reviews because I used to uh, ask them for testimonials. Some of my apprentices can attest to that straight away. Big big diseases that have baffled the white coats and the white people in the white coats. It's not a problem. Healing is really not that big a deal. And I can give you so many topics that I'm able to bring impeccability to, which means that I am an expert at. And I expect you guys to do the same. Why not? Why not? You've got 24 hours a day, just as me or anyone else. People are, around the world are making good use of their time. Why shouldn't you? Why shouldn't you practice impeccability and become an absolute professional level expert at least 10, 20 different things? Right? You can do it. You can do it. Believe me, if I can do it, you can do it. Really. <laughs> really. I mean that. Expertise will lead you to excellence. Excellence. Excellence is what elevates the average man to the extraordinary level. There is not a lot of people who, are, who bring excellence into their field, into their life. You can get an excellent neurologist, you can get an excellent cardiologist, or a this-ism, or that is, or you can get an excellent student, or you can get an excellent this. But a Toltec warrior is an excellent liver of life. You won't get many of those in the average man's world. The Toltec warrior, she's excellent at everything. There's one of the unmistakable attributes that when her friends her family members, those who know her, look at her, look at her life. The one thing they pick up is she's just always really good at everything she does. 
And she's not just really good, she's freaking excellent at it. She's amazing at it. She makes it work for her to a very high level, right? It's one of the attributes that you, you should develop in yourself, being excellent. Become an excellent sleeper. Sleep. Become excellent at health, fitness, which doesn't mean feeling fit. What the fuck is feeling fit? No one gives a damn about that. Go, go educate yourself. You like dancing? Fine. Become a professional level expert at 10 different dance styles. Then come and let's, let's look at you then. Because that journey of becoming proficient, expert, and excellent at 10 different dance styles, it will mature your spirit in the way that you can barely imagine right now. There is no room for lazies in the Toltec path. Drill this into your mind. Lazy people, well-meaning people. I mean well, I know so much about Castaneda. I've read all the books. Yes, yes. Yeah. Bye-bye. You're no good. No good to yourself, no good to others. But let's see it in your actions. Let's see what an excellent, proficient expert you are at living. You see where I'm coming from with all of this? Do you see how impeccability is these three ingredients? There's a few more, but these three main ingredients. P-E-E. -E, proficiency. Expertise. Excellence. Now here's the rub. Here's why you are not proficient and expert and excellent at most things in your life. You know what you're proficient at? If that is when it pays you, your job, making others' dreams come true. You're really good at that. Drone mentality, worker drone. If you're self-employed, you have to be proficient at whatever you're selling. Self-employment is basically selling, right? So these are forced upon you. you. These are survival things. If you're not proficient, no one's going to buy your product or service, whatever it is. What the Toltec warrior does is become that person that whether they're self-employed, whether they are, they would never work for anyone else anyway, unless there was a plan and a strategy in place that totally, completely benefited the Toltec warrior. <laughs> That's the only time the Toltec warrior would work for someone else, right? Otherwise, you might as well just work to make your own dreams come true. Why waste your time and energy working for someone else? Makes no sense. So, proficiency, you have to be proficient. And I want you to want to be proficient just because. Just because it makes you feel powerful to be proficient at something. It is one of the secrets of personal power. To be proficient at something because you want to be, not because you have to be. There's a rarer group who become experts at something. In the average man's world, it's still the same. Either the government told you or you have some expectations laid upon you by others to become an expert. Maybe your whole family is a family of surgeons or something and you grew up with these great expectations of becoming an expert surgeon yourself. Or you're a family of uh, actors or actresses or something. I don't know, martial artists. So you got these expectations, I've got, to be, I've got to be an expert. But that's because you're conforming to other people's pressure of you. Right? The even rarer group is the excellent ones. The ones that... Now, excellence will never come unless it's coming from within. If, if your motivations have been imposed upon you from the outside, you will stop maximum at the expert level. You just won't have the motivation to become excellent at it. And just doing something for long. I've been a, I've been a Reiki master for 20 years. Okay, good for you. That doesn't make you excellent. It may make you an expert. Excellence has that extra quality in it. All of these are important 
impossible, impossible to even start on. It is impossible to become proficient at anything if you're not hungry. If you are not hungry to learn, if you are not the kind of person that is hungry to learn for the sake of learning, because when you learn something and you become proficient at it, then go on to become an expert at it because you've paid it in blood, sweat and tears. Then you go on to become an excellent, become excellent at it, which puts you in the elite class in whatever it is that you're doing. May it, it could be parachuting out of a plane, who knows, uh, you know, skydiving. It doesn't really matter, chess or uh, being a chef or cooking or baking cakes, whatever it is. Let's get, have you the, the hunger to become so good at it that you are called excellent, which means you are an elite class whatever it is that you're, you know, you're hungry for. So it's this hunger that you must learn to cultivate. You'll be shocked to find that 99.9% .9 of the people in the world are not hungry in that way. Too complacent, indolent. Entertainment is the only thing that pricks your attention. How can I be ent entertain me? Entertain me. How can I be entertained by the, Oh, I fancy myself to be someone who loves to learn. Yes, yes, and I'm right. I'm one of those people. He's talking about me. Yes, very nice. I, in fact, I'm, I've just signed on to a workshop and I'm going to learn pottery. Yes, workshop pottery. I'm excited. I've paid lots of money. And no, no. You're just looking for the next entertainment. Don't kid yourself. Don't bullshit yourself. As soon as you get bored of that pottery, you'll move on to the next workshop of something else. And you know it and I know it. So get honest. Don't pretend to be better than you really are to yourself. Get really honest. Chances are, chances are, that you have never actually taken one single journey in one single area of your life where it takes you from complete noob, complete novice, onto proficiency, onto expertise, onto elite level excellence. You've never once done it in anything. So stop kidding yourself thinking you're some kind of big shot because you're not. And prove to yourself, take the next 10 years till 2030, pick one direction in your life and start running. Get trained, invest. You'll know how you're becoming, you know, you know, you'll know when you're serious. You know when you're serious about something? When you vote with your money. When you invest in yourself about it with your money. When you lay down the cash, when we put our cash where the mouth is, yeah, we tell ourselves, yeah, I'm serious here. That's why I always tell people, you, you're not going to get anything out of these videos. You're not, you're not serious. You're just looking for entertainment. Get honest. If I start making these videos today, out of the how, however many su subscribers they are, right? 99% would stop watching because you're looking for the next entertainment from an arm. Get honest. I call it brutal honesty. And it's hard to do because we love to pretend to ourselves that we're better than that we really are. <sighs> Proficiency, expertise, elite level excellence. Take that journey in just one thing. And I would love it if you come back in five years and tell me, an arm that one video started me on this journey and look, I am an elite level dancer now. I'm an elite level chef. I'm an excellent elite level pilot. I went and joined uh, the Air Force or something, or I don't know, whatever turns you on. I'm an elite level chess player, golf, 
Who knows whatever turns you on, but do you know what turns you on enough beyond your entertainment indoctrination? Do you even know what it is that you can sustain and invest in in yourself for the next five years where you can pay in blood, sweat and tears? These three ingredients, they really are, it's very accurate. To become an elite level excellent at something, you have to pay in blood. I'm telling you, you will have to pay in your life force. That journey will take everything. It should, it needs to, to get you there. It'll take everything you've got to give. Sweat, hard work. You will have to work your ass off to get to that level. Because believe me, you think you're good, there's always someone better than you. There's always, not always one person better than you. There's always 10 million better than you. <laughs> you think you're a good guitar player, huh? <laughs> or whatever. I know people who blow your kneecaps off just playing a few notes on their guitar. I personally know these people. <laughs> you see? Why I'm making this point is everyone loves to lie to themselves. We are habitual liars. We habitually, we are raised, we are educated. Everything around us encourages us to create false self-images about ourselves. We are pandered and live in a world of entitlement. Oh no, but Anna, my life has been very hard. If only you could know the struggles I've gone through. Really? Oh yeah? Just be you saying that, tells me everything. <laughs> you're never going to become elite level excellence, let alone proficient in anything, because you're the big victim. Oh, no, no, but I have really worked hard and I work 25 hours a day and I do this and I, yeah, I really know what it means to pay in blood, sweat and tears. Yeah, you know what that means because you've been working for others or you've been working for your own business because you have to. Very few want to. Because it takes an extraordinary, extraordinary amount of willpower, grit and stamina, sheer attrition stamina to just keep doing that thing day in, day out, just because. No external reason, not because you got to pay your rent or raise the kids or do this or do that or blah, blah, blah. Because from the inside, you want to. That hunger, it's like a vampiric hunger that won't leave you alone. You wake up in the night and you want to suck someone's blood out. That kind of, that motivates you to do what it takes to get to elite level excellence. You see a lot of young people, being a singing teacher and in the, in the music business since I was 18 really, you, you cannot imagine the amount of humans I have seen, beautiful, beautiful kids, talented, who have started out, I want to be the next Mariah Carey or whoever's famous nowadays, I don't even know, they're all copy-paste idiots to me. I want to be the next this and I want to be the next that and I want to win X Factor or whatever the hell these utterly toxic TV pro programs, programming TV programs are. By the way, pro tip, stay away from all this X Factor and voice and all these, just stay away from TV, full stop. <laughs> and I've lost track of the amount of beautiful humans who have started out wanting to be elite level excellent but not even ending up becoming proficient in it. Oh, Anam, do you remember me? I was your singing student when, uh, you know, 10 years ago. Oh, hi, how are you doing? What's up? Are you still singing? No, I fell in love with a guy just after I gave up training with you. And a year later, I had a kid and it was all very messy and uh, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Then I found out he was into drugs, blah, blah, blah. Copy, paste, life story, a big 
L written on your fucking forehead. You know what that L stands for? Loser. You got distracted. You didn't have the personal power and the stamina to stick with it. And I would like every one of you who's watching this video to know what it takes to become an, a proficient practitioner of anything that floats your boat. And take the next five years, 10 years, and really, I will remember, come back, leave a comment then on this channel. I will get it. I promise you this. And tell me, Anam, you told me to take five years. I took that to heart. And I went and uh, I've always loved sewing clothes. So I went and did this course. And then I went and did that. And I started my own clothing business. And look, five years later, I'm one of the elite level clothes makers. I know everything there is to know about clothes. And that journey has matured me has given me so much in my spirit. Do you see where I'm coming from? So this video may seem a little bit like I'm being harsh, right? But don't, don't be fooled by that. Don't let that throw you. Wherever it is apt to be harsh, my body will express harshness. Take it, take it, diminish yourself. Allow yourself to be diminished so you can actually look at yourself properly and move, let's see you move. You're here to work. You're not incarnated in this life to live an entitled, pandering, miserable, powerless, ineffectual life. You're not here to pretend to be some kind of hotshot when you're totally not. And you're not here to prove anything to anyone. You're here to learn impeccability. Just this one quality, if you can spend the next 10 years really going on a journey with impeccability, 10 years later, you will acquire the kind of personal power that you can barely imagine right now. So let me know what you think of this video. I hope you like my new hairstyle. I love it. And leave, in, leave, it in, leave comments, tell me what do you think about impeccability and what I've talked about today. What is it that spoke to you about the video? Let me know and I shall see you next week. Walk in freedom. Bye for now.